Hello guys, this is Damian from forexbolt.com and welcome back to our video examples on a live forex trading account. We remind that the trade you will see here is with and only educational purpose. The chart we're currently looking at is the 5 minute one of the British pound American dollar forex pair also known as the cable. Notice that the price has been following the bullish channel, a bullish trend over here which has its upper equivalent through the tops. Uh, the lower level of the channel was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and currently it is getting tested for 8th time. Notice that during the last test I skipped to enter the trade and now I notice the pattern so I believe this is the right moment to enter the trade and I'm in a hurry to do so before I miss any price move on the chart. So now I'm in with the British pound American dollar on the assumption that the price will do another run, bullish run, through the, to the upper level of the channel. I'll place my stop loss order below the bottom created in the moment of the bounce over here. And at the same time I will place a take profit order somewhere near the upper level of the channel above the current price action. For example here. Then I intend to move my take profit order I intend to move my take profit order higher and higher uh, with uh, having uh, the time passing by because when the time passes by without the price being able to reach the upper level of the channel this means that the price action is moving to the right, which means that I'm getting like the opportunity to get more pips since the upper level of the channel is going higher and higher. So if the price, for example, reaches like this area over here, here, I see that this area responds to this level of the upper level of the channel, which means that I'm simply going to move my take profit order like this. And I will aim for a higher target. But in this case, I'm still uh, like, uh, I'm willing to cover potential price move, rapid price move to the upper level of the channel uh, based on the current location of the price action, meaning that this is a nice location for my take profit order. Yeah, but when we zoom in, we see that a new candle was just formed, meaning that I have a little bit more to cover with my take profit order. So I think this is the right level for my take profit order. When the time passes by, I will gradually adjust the stop, the take profit order higher and higher, uh, setting bigger and bigger target. I plan to stay in this trade until the price reaches my take profit order or until the lower level of the channel is broken in bearish direction meaning that I will need to see a bearish candle closing below that level if this happens I will not wait for my stop loss order to get hit and I will instantly exit the trade on the assumption that this is a breakout and the price is probably initiating a reversal so what I'm going to do now is to mark my levels on the chart starting with the stop loss order with red like at 1.2380.87 gonna put my entry point gonna mark it with white somewhere near 1.2398 maybe okay And I'm not going to mark my take profit order because as I said, I'm going to probably move it upward higher and higher uh, with the time passing by. So now I plan to pause this video and to come back to you later and to see what's going on with this trade. Okay guys, I'm back about 15 minutes later to show you that the price has created an impulse. For my take profit order, however, the take profit order 
uh, is still untouched because the price managed to increase only to a distance which is like two pips away from my take profit order. So since the price has moved uh, to the right sideways, one, two, three candle means that I can readjust my take profit order higher. So it will be close to the upper level of the channel because this is the target I'm pursuing. All right. So now let's pause the video again and let's come back later to see what's going on with the trade. Okay, guys, uh, I'm back about one hour later to tell you that the price has been hesitating. Uh, I saw like another attempt for my take profit order to get hit, but it was unsuccessful. So the price moved to the right sideways, meaning that I will readjust my take profit order again in order to be able to mitigate a price run to the upper level of the channel. So this is what I'm doing now. And as you see, the take profit order is now uh, intersecting with the upper level of the channel right above the current price action. Okay guys, I'm back to you about a couple hours later to tell you that the price action did, uh, did consolidate for a while, but then it returned sharply with this candle inside the channel. Uh, which made me hold the trade a little bit more because I thought there might be another run on the chart. Uh, in the meantime, I readjusted my take profit order one more time with one pip uh, further. And um, later on, the price created another very sharp run, hitting my take profit order and closing a profitable trade. Which was a very nice uh, outcome for this trade. But um, notice that a break appeared here. But the price real quick returned back above the channel. Which made me think that this break might not be a real breakout. But it's something like, uh, like a price anomaly caused by high volatility on the chart. And notice that it was for a very short period of time. At the same time, my stop loss order remained untouched uh, below the two bottoms here and here. Furthermore, another bottom was created in the same support area. Somewhere over here. Here it is the support at 1.2384. It's a very dark color. Let's use something brighter. Here it is. And then the bullish move was resumed and the price created another run to my take profit order, which was three times adjusted until it reached the level at 1.2410. Uh, now let's do some calculations. Uh, what did we profit from this trade? So. I entered the trade at 1.2398 and I exited the trade at 1.2410. 2398, 2410. This is a 12 pips difference, which is 0.0012 from the current exchange rate. 12 pips. When we divide 0 0.0012 by the entry point at 1.2398, we get a result of 0 0.00967898, which is a very long number. But when we multiply this number by 100, we will get the percentage profit from this trade, which is 0 0.096789. Approximately 0.01% from this trade. Uh, the profit from this trade was not uh, that big, having in mind the time the trade took, uh, because I entered somewhere over here and I exited somewhere over here, which is uh, like. Uh, 
more than two hour and a half from this trade. Uh, I'm not talking that the profit is bad for this amount of time, but uh, in many of the cases, some of the trades trades will not be winning. So spending like two hour and a half for a 0.096% trade is a little bit like too much. We've seen better trades in our trading examples, like 0.3% for less than two hours and stuff, which is a very, very good result. But also, we should not, you know, abandon these kind of trades. After all, we were fully profitable, which is the most important thing from this trade. And notice that the price is now running in bearish direction in my seek interaction with the lower level of the channel, which also might be another good trading opportunity on the chart. But let's leave the next trade for the next time. And uh, this was Damian from forexbow.com. I'm looking forward to see you on the nice forex on the next forex trading session. And until then, I wish you happy and safe trading.